Happy Friday. Um, hope you guys have had a good week. Uh, just wanted to stop in and just share my five on Friday. Um, so anyways, I'll just uh, get started. So anyways, um, starting out the week, um, we had a little bit of a scare with my husband. Um, he'd been having some knee problems a couple of weeks ago and had dispatch help out here twice. Um, they thought it was gout, but the steroids they gave him weren't really helping. They suggested he go to hospital and get an ultrasound, which he refused to go, was gonna follow up with his doctor, but waited way longer than he should have. Um, I guess he finally did that this week, and I got a phone call on Tuesday saying that he had a positive D-timer test. I don't know if anybody knows what that is, but that's the first time I'd ever really heard of it. And it basically is saying that he had possibly had blood clot. So they sent him straight over to the hospital to get the ultrasound. And thankfully, they didn't find anything. But at the same time, it makes me wonder, um, could a blood clot be somewhere else? Um, I told him to follow up with his doctor, but who knows what will happen at this point. Um, but anyways, if anybody knows anything about a D-timer and what does it mean if you're positive on that but negative on an ultrasound? If you could let me know, I've Googled and I'm not really coming up with anything. Um, and then we have more problems with my mom. I called her yesterday and uh, we ended up, I ended up, she ended up telling me that she fell. Um, and I was like, what, when did you fall? Cause I didn't get a call. Cause you're always supposed to get a call when somebody falls. And anyway, she said she was going to the dining room, went to pull out the chair and I guess somehow she fell. I said, how did you get up? She said, somebody picked her up. She didn't know who. I was assuming this happened at lunchtime, which makes no sense. So I tried to call over. The, she said she wasn't hurt, but she said she didn't fall on her left arm, and that's her bad arm. So that's a bit concerning. So anyways, I basically um, called over there, and no answer. Called twice. No answer. So frustrating. Uh, left a message with um, the wellness director office. Didn't get a call back, so I called Home Health, my nurse over there, she's the greatest, and told her what happened, and somehow she got a hold of them. They knew nothing about it, of course, um, and now they're doing investigation to try to see what happened. They asked her, and of course, now she's saying she's not sure if she fell or not, but I'm pretty sure she did fall, because she was pretty clear when she told me. So anyways, just pray that she didn't damage her arm anymore. Um, I'm also still in process of finding um, another place for her and trying to get documents. I think I finally got the documents from um, Bloom. So hopefully that will um, help with that. But I have decided I don't think I'm going to even try to move on until May at this point at the earliest. Um, I really don't have any other options right now except for Shalom Park. So it looks like that's still on the top of my list, but I'm still dreading it. And we're still also having problems with her feet. Um, now they're saying that both of the toes are red, and yesterday the nurse over there was telling me they were purple. So I am waiting for a phone call from Home Health for another update. So anyways, that's about my mom. Um, I also met with a state representative this week, um, Daphna Janae, I can't remember her whole name, but she is a state representative with my cousin Renee, who just lost her mom, which was my mom's cousin, a few months ago, or a month or so ago, and um, had terrible nursing home neglect. She was in a skilled nursing home facility, and with all of my trials, um, she and I and some other people are trying to band together and trying to see if we can bring some real change to nursing home reform, elderly care reform, so that there is accountability for all of these things that happen. So anyways, um, I also have, um, so that's basically that. And then um, one more thing is taxes, trying to figure out what to do with my mom's taxes. Um, sorry about that, Zoe is barking. <laughs> I thought I had her contained. Um, but anyways, I was trying to um, figure out what to do with her taxes because I'm missing one of the forms. And um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. And I do not want to have to deal with Social Security. So I talked to the accountant yesterday and she said that um, we probably don't even have to file anything because she basically does nothing but Social Security. But I'm still worried about what's gonna happen with um, that rest of that interest and penalties from my dad's properties uh, that my sister didn't pay on time. Um, she said she finally 
get into it and they're still not willing to get rid of all of it. So that could be a couple, at least at least a thousand more dollars, which would be ridiculous because she needs as much money as she can for care. So anyways, um, that's that. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to something a little more positive. First of all, let um, me show you, well, I was going to show you Zoe. That is if I can grab her. Um, yes, here she is. This is Zoe, the little barker who got groomed yesterday. And she's barking at me because she wants me to put more treats in this ball over here, which she likes to play with. So anyways, I'm going to do that. I've got Penny outside. Um, so anyways, that's uh, what's going on with Zoe. And um, as far as my Etsy shop goes, um, I basically... Um, has, things have kind of slowed down, unfortunately. And hold on one sec. Let me just, let's go this way. I'm going to come back and show you guys my Etsy stuff last. I'm going to go over here and grab another biscuit to put in this little ball to keep her quiet. That is, unless I can catch, unless I can catch her. Hang on. Hang on a sec. I got to put you guys down. <laughs> so I can open the bag. Anyways, we're trying some new treats this time. You guys can see these little pumpkin dog biscuits that we got on Amazon. We're trying to do something a little bit more healthy for dogs. But anyways, I'm going to put it in this little treat ball that we've had for a while. This seems to keep her busy. So anyways, hopefully that'll keep her happy. So I also wanted to show you guys progress on my desk. You can see... I'm getting to see more area, which is really, really good. And um, over here, I'll, I'll put some still pictures in, but you can see I'll show you what the before looked like. But I've got those papers down there. There's Indy. And I've got those top two going. I still want to clean this one out a little bit more. But as you can see, I can actually see the top of the desk on the right side. Now, of course, I have to work on this side. Of course, all of everything's over there, but that's my next step. And um, Amanda from Amanda in Spiritland has been amazing helping me. So if you guys need an accountability coach, she is the one to call or just go contact. She's on, um, on Instagram, so I'll make sure to put her in the description. Now, as far as Etsy goes, um, I things have slowed down. I am really trying to get more tutus and onesies, but in the meantime, I got to order for these personalized favor tags and um these are really cute if you guys have any gifts that you need to give um as you can see this is for nautical party um and i personalize them with whatever sentiments you want sayings thank you sayings and then you can put them on gift bags and that's a really great thing to do for birthday parties so anyways, that's what's going on at Etsy. And um, let's see. So I guess that's about that. And then lastly, um, with, I finished the Faith Through Grief um, program through the We Grieve this week. That was that month-long program in um, February. And it was really good. The guy that runs it is really great. He's doing another workshop in March this time. The one he's doing is for um, suicide loss. So if anybody has lost someone to suicide, I will put him in the link in the profile as well. And um, hopefully, you know, you can join him. And um, basically, we talked about resilience and suffering. And he had shared a verse with us from actually, it was Matthew 11, uh, 28 through 30. And I will just read it. This is one I've... Um, you know, heard before, but it definitely is good for people that are been suffering. It says, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And um, I think that's a really comforting verse um, for anyone that is in the midst of suffering. Um, I also wanted to let you know that um, I and Josh and I are doing Wednesdays now, and we did a Wednesday this week, 
and um, we talked about first anniversaries of the death of our loved ones. Um, unfortunately, this is the month that my sister died a year ago. He also lost a really good friend this month as well. And we talked about ways to um, get through that day. Um, and so you can um, go over and check that out. I'll put that in the description as well. Um, and finding ways to make it through that and honoring that person. Um, so anyways, um, I'm just going to end it with some prayer. Um, if you guys could continue to keep some people in prayer and if anybody needs prayer, please just let me know and I will add them to the list. We will add them to the list. Um, but right now I just need prayers for my friend, Jonna. She's still having major problems with her back. Um, and she's in a lot of pain and, um, my friend Ash on Instagram, um, she's still trying to recover from another surgery. She's also spoony, has a lot of health issues like POTS and things like that. And just trying to get her life back. And then for Josh, you know, he's got five autoimmune diseases and, you know, he's trying to help other people in the process and uplift them. So if we could pray for him and anybody else who needs prayer. And also please keep um, Ukraine in our prayers, Turkey, Syria, um, the women I ran. Um, also pray for the LGBTQ UIA community and anti-Semitism. Um, and just I hope you guys, something I have said has been uplifting and helped to um, uplift you this week. And I hope you guys have a good weekend.